Hi, we are going to calculate the concentration at equilibrium given initial concentrations and our equilibrium constant. So you recall there are always three pieces of information when we're doing these ice tables. Um, there's going to be the equilibrium constant, the initial concentration, and equilibrium concentration. Uh, well, in this problem, we are given the equilibrium concentration is 33 and told that the initial concentrations of each of the reactants, hydrogen and iodine, are one times 10 to the minus three molar. And we're asked, what are the final equilibrium concentrations? So I've set up my ice table. I put my initial concentrations, so important, those have to be a molarity. Um, I put those for my reactants. Um, and remember, that's just what we begin with. We have no products to begin with, so that's zero. Now we're going to do change. Uh, so with change, we're going to lose the reactants and gain products until we come into that perfect equal rate. That's equilibrium. Um, so the amount that ultimately I'm going to lose is going to be a ratio of um, one mole of the hydrogen compared to, uh, we'll react with one mole of the iodine to produce two moles of the iodine. So that's the ratio that we'll, we'll lose, one to one to two. We will consume reactants and we make products. Um, so again, you just look at those coefficients, put the coefficient from the x minus for the reactant because we lose that positive for uh, the product because we're going to gain it. Then really easy on the E, we just add I plus C. So we will have six times 10 to the minus three minus X. Same thing here, six times 10 to the minus three minus X and zero plus two X is just going to be 2x. Okay, now we can plug this into our equilibrium expression so that we can solve for x, um, and then we'll be able to figure out what are the equilibrium concentrations. So the equilibrium expression is products divided by reactants, and be really careful, um, you have to take the coefficient and that is the exponent. So this will be product, um, the hydrogen iodine uh, gas, that's going to be squared, um, Iodide, sorry, hydrogen iodide. Um, and then here, we're going to have the hydrogen, that's to the first power, times the iodine, which is also to the first power. Okay, now we can plug in. We're going to get 33, that's my K value, equals, let's see, 2X squared, divided by, and let's plug this in, 6.0 times 10 to the minus three minus X, now I'm going to do something here, I'm rigging it. Notice that's the hydrogen and I'm going to multiply it by iodine, which is the same thing. Are you okay? Let's just square that. Then I don't have to write it twice, okay? I don't have to write it twice. I know that we're going to multiply the same thing, so that's squared. Oh, now here's a little algebra trick that will save us a lot of work so we don't have to do the quadratic equation. Uh, because this is squared and this is squared, let's just take the square root of both sides. So when I square root, both sides and the square root of 33 is let's see here what did I get for the square root of 33 I believe it was like five point something let me look it is 5.745 okay that's the square root of 33 equals squared 2x squared is this 2x divided by 6.0 times 10 to the minus 3 minus x squared is just the 6.0 times 10 to the minus three minus x. Okay, now we have a little bit of an algebra problem. So let's go ahead and solve this. I'm going to, um, let's see, do some work. I might bring it over here so you can see it better. Let's multiply both sides by our denominator, this binomial, six times 10 to the minus three minus x. Do that on both sides. Six times 10 to the minus three minus x. Okay, so we're going to have to distribute this to both um, of these species inside that binomial. I'll pull it over here so you can see it just a little bit better. Um, so six times uh, that five, let's see here, it is going to be uh, 0 0.0345. So that's 5.745 times six times 10 to the minus three minus uh, that will be 5.745x equals 2x. So let's go ahead and combine like terms. I will add the 5.745x to both sides plus 5.745x 
that cancels, we'll get 0 0.0345 equals seven. So two plus the five, 7.745x. And now let's solve, let's divide both sides by the 7.745, 7.745, and x is going to equal, let's see what we get for x. x is going to equal 0 0.0045. 0 0.0045. Okay, we found x. Now we're not done. Remember, the question was, was, hey, what are the equilibrium concentrations? Well, I found x, so now I can just come back here and substitute. Let me clean this off. We'll make a little bit of room here. Okay, so let's substitute in that x. We will have 6.00 times 10 to the minus 3 minus x. Let me block that out, x, which is 0 0.0045. And then over here, we're going to have 2 times x, which is the 0 0.0045. Um, so when we subtract this, we are going to get 0 0.0015. That's the concentration of hydrogen. It's the same thing for the iodine, 0 0.0015. Just plug in x there, get 0 0.0015. Um, and then, uh, let's see, multiply this and we get 0 0.0090. That's going to be the concentration of the HI. Wow. Um, so keys to help you what the main points of how you're going to do this write your ice table fill in uh, your initial concentrations and then fill in the rest of the table from there you're going to plug into the equilibrium expression so the k equals products over reactants substitute in what numbers you do have then you solve for x once you have x come back substitute and you'll get the equilibrium concentration okay Good work. Next one, if you have to do the quadratic equation, that it doesn't work out where you can take the square root. Okay, thanks. Have a good day.